Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video and yeah, let's let's go for the third video today guys. So yeah, today we are going to talk about raiders a little bit. I will do some properly good, um, like properly done, I'm not gonna say that it's good, but properly done guides on how to use the new raiders uh, after the patch is released, okay? But I really wanted to make a, a video just talking a little bit about a different mode that it's added. So we are here in the MiG-29 and there is other aircraft with that as well that I will talk a little bit about it. But as you see here, if I change the radar mode, we have, uh, of course, this is a full pulsed operator. It doesn't have normal modes, but we have right there on the right side of the screen, a uh, search pulse doppler. This is the normal search pulse doppler. Then we have TWS, normal TWS. Then we have two no new modes. We have search pulse doppler. Uh, it's kind of weird there, but it's HDN. And then TWS HDN. And I wanted to talk a little bit about what is the HDN. A lot of people have troubles um, understanding what it is, basically. Okay? So, I don't have the confirmation of it uh, because Gaiji normally doesn't explain much about the Raiders and stuff. And normally it's up to the players to actually understand uh, what is going on sometimes. Uh, so, I really, I really hope they actually uh, kind of fix that and add some tutorials or something like that explaining more in specific detail this kind of minor thing uh, so yeah but as you know the raiders uh, they uh, emit radio waves and in real life especially an aircraft such as the MiG-29 or more modern aircraft uh, for the 80s for example the F-15 I think you can do that as well uh, the more modern APG-68 I think you can do that on the F-16Cs uh, as well the Su-27 the Mirage 2000, in some modes of the F-14, uh, and other aircraft uh, have that as well. Uh, it means that it, you can change basically the basically the repetition frequency that the pulses are uh, of radio waves are being emitted. Okay, I don't know why this changes the fact of detection. Okay, so I, I don't have the physics to actually understand uh, why certain aspect works in a certain way for detection itself. But I know that high frequencies or high uh, repetition frequencies uh, of many, many pulses or um, continuous wave, but uh, many type, many, um, many emissions of the radar, uh, the higher it is, the less, the, the higher the likelihood of you detecting a target on a head on. And the lower it is, the highly uh, it's more likely for you to detect the target that it's flying uh, very low to the ground or in all other aspects so this is modeled in the game uh, with the medium prf uh, which is the pulse repetition frequency and the high prf okay the medium prf will be the normal modes so for example tws and search pulse doppler will be the normal ones these ones will be used for you to detect targets that are flying for example code from you or something along those lines okay uh, of course here yeah see i'm detecting him pretty cool right uh, and if i try to lock him i will be able to uh, but if i go um, i'm too close to him but uh, the high uh, the, the uh, hdn mode uh, here will on the other hand detect with the high uh, repetition frequency so it will be emitting a lot more times the uh, radio waves. That's how I understand it. I might be a little bit wrong and it, it might be a little bit of a, a kind of a basic knowledge. But uh, as you see here, let me try to detect it. It's really hard to detect targets that are cold from you using this mode. So that's the thing. These normal modes, the, the medium PRF modes, which are the search pull stopper and the TWS, will be used for side aspects, code aspects, or people that are flying really low to the ground on a head-on. For normal head-ons, on high altitude especially, the normal, the, the normal will not be, be enough, okay? Uh, you will need to detect it with the search pulse doppler HDN or the TWS HDN. That will change the frequency mode of repetitions, and that will make it uh, very much a... Uh, uh, the detectability of the, the aircraft will be higher. So it will be able to detect targets much easier than on uh, the normal search modes on these head-on passes. It's not like you don't 
um, actually detect anybody uh, on a head-on with the normal modes. It's just that with the HDN, you will be able to detect targets um, from further away and in a better lock, basically, okay? So, uh, to recap, you don't need to know how it works, because I barely know, so yeah, but you need to know how it affects the game. So, Search Pool Stopper and TWS for cold aspect shots, for side aspects, or people flying very low to the ground. Search Pool Stopper HDN and TWS HDN use for head-ons only, especially in high altitudes, but you can use in low altitudes as well, but um, for head-ons, okay? For BVR engagements on a head-on. If you use this mode, the range uh, of the radar will be increased. So that's the main idea about the HDN here. Uh, it is supposed to increase the range. So the normal pull stopper modes will detect an F-14 on a MiG-29 um, at about 60 kilometers. But with the HDN, it's about 85, 90 kilometers, depending on the situation, if it's really high up. So, yeah, it, it really changes the range. So you will need to understand this to make sure that you are using properly the radar to make sure that you are actually better than the F-14 on a BVR scale if you want to be better. Of course, it always depends on the pilot, not only on the aircraft. So if you learn how to use this, you will be way better than the other ones. Obviously, you can also, uh, let me try to lock it. You can also uh, use HDN to actually lock a target, if I'm not mistaken, let me try. Yeah, apparently this aircraft only uses this, but let, uh, on the acquire, it's only normal pull stopper, as you see, because it's not trying to hit any target from further away. But if I use the acquire for the normal rate, the, the HDN mode, it, it is trying to use high frequency modes to actually lock the target as well. So keep that in mind, okay? If you lock a target with the HDN, let me try to lock this, hold up. Come on, where is the target? There. So if uh, you can change, see how I changed the mode there? Pay attention to the radar again, the radar screen. Let me detect the target again. See? Okay, I'm locked with tracking PD. This is normal medium frequency. This is the normal mode. If I try to go for the HDN, you can change the mode in the tracking. It will automatically lose the lock. But remember, if you are going on a head-on, you are going to lock with the HDN. If it tries to notch, quickly change for the normal mode. Quickly, because you will lose the lock. The normal mode, it's much better to... Uh, get people from a side aspect, especially those F-14s that like to go cold, okay? So uh, you can see this clearly. If you are using the HDN on a cold aspect, you will lose luck, okay? So that's just the normal thing. You will lose luck. So keep that in mind. You will need to be quick about it. If you do this, you will be way more effective with your R-27Rs. Uh, it doesn't mean that, I mean, you will need the R27Rs because the T's are so good, but yeah. Let's take a look on some other aircraft that have this system as well. Almost broke my cockpit there, but we are airborne with the F-14. So the F-14 has these different modes as well. So as you see here, TWS, normal medium frequency, okay? Search pull stopper velocity, normal medium frequency. So this is, these are good for notching targets and stuff. Of course, the radar on the, it's not the only thing that matters for a radar such as this, uh, but the only thing that it will change, it, it is the, uh, of course, it has the normal search, but the only thing that it will change is the search pull stopper HDN here. So it will be a little bit better. They added this mode for the F-14. So it will be a little bit better on a head-on, but uh, it will be susceptible to uh, notching um, a little bit more than the MiG-29 and Mirage, uh, just because the medium frequency is already not that good. For example, here, a MiG-29 would detect this, but I just cannot detect the target, see? Because the medium frequency here is already not that good in notching and coding tar cold targets. But you do have the... Uh, here we have this normal search mode that you can use for cold targets. So use the normal search mode for cold targets. Try to use the HDN for uh, more head-on passes. Obviously, here, as you see, I cannot lock it. As you see, it's not seeing the target. And then the normal search modes, uh, obviously, I would use the T. I mean, pull stopper velocity, there's no reason to use it if you have the TWS, right? But use the TWS in other, uh, before you 
you basically to have a, a better understanding of the combat arena or something like that. Uh, it is not a TWS HDN, so um, there is a factor of trying to use the HDN here as a normal post post Doppler mode. Of course, we also have the uh, post Doppler HDN for lock as well. So uh, you have here the normal mode. I will not get to a position where I am um, in a, a head-on pass just to show, but. Uh, just for you to know, we have the normal HDN, as you see there. See? I'm changing for fourth and back just to make sure that I don't lose lock. But the normal track will be HDN. I managed to get a lock even with the HDN here. Funny. But um, also, let's take a look. Yeah. The normal... The normal mode, it is also um, using HDN. The normal uh, choir mode here. Uh, a funny thing is that if the target is faster than you, the HDN can actually detect it. So I don't know if this is supposed to be a thing, but fairly weird, right? See, I don't have. I can, well, that's another thing. If the target is faster than you, maybe try to use the HDN, but then you don't. You have to not be faster than him. If you do, you will lose luck. And another aircraft that has it. Let's take a look. And for to wrap it up the video, we have the Mirage 2000 as well. It has the APG-53 there on the files that has a tracking mode, but that radar apparently is for the A4. And the A4, you cannot track anything, uh, air target. So, kind of weird, but I don't know. Maybe it's work in progress, that. But still, these are the three aircraft that have the HDN. So, as you see here, the Mirage, TWS, search mode, and pulse doctor. So, very similar to the F-14. So normal search mode without pull stopper uh, filtering. Uh, you have the TWS, which is a normal TWS, so a medium frequency. So it will be uh, worse for, um, you know, notching targets and stuff like that. And also search pull stopper HDN. Let's try to lock the target. Yeah, you can use pull stopper HDN. So all the trackings are done now with the with the uh, or, or the normal normal mode or pulse doppler uh, HDN. So pretty interesting. That will make it hard to uh, maintain a target. But each each aircraft has its own mode to maintain a lock if the target notches or go codes. So for example, the uh, Mirage 2000 is going back for the uh, normal um, normal mode without pulse doppler filtering, right? Uh, the F-14 is as that as well, uh, but the MiG-29 being a fully pulsed operator, it is um, a little bit more advanced in that sense, and it has a, a basically a, a normal mode for pulsed upper that is sensitive enough to not be uh, to not need the normal mode, and then you have the HDN. So a different, a little bit of a different thing, but yeah, very very complicated. I know. Maybe I rumbled a little bit, so sorry about that, but it is a complicated matter, so I hope you understand it. Uh, the main thing that you have to worry about, again, just to make sure that you understand, modes that don't have HDN on the name are for code and side aspect shots, on the MiG-29 especially. Um, all, the ones that have HDN, they are made for head-ons. That's basically what you, mean, you need to know. But of course, uh, aircraft such as the Mirage and F-14, I mean, they have the normal um, search mode. So that's the mode that you need to use when they are going code or if they are notching. Okay, not the normal modes. This one will lo lose lock as well. It's just that the MiG-29 works in a different way. Okay, these are the only three radars that I found that have these modes. Uh, and it is complicated, so sorry about that. But I hope you, hopefully you understand it. And yeah, guys, I see you on the next one. And make sure to subscribe. We're trying to hit 15,000 subscribers. And yeah, guys, bye. I see you guys on the next one.